Danny is sending us to Ken and his sons, Rod and Randy. Just like his sons, Ken was born and raised in this little town. So they bought an old building downtown to store all of the stuff they've collected over the years. Hey, 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 hey. Howdy. howdy. How you doing? Good. Who's Rod hey, and who's Randy? I'm Randy. You're Rod. Rod. This is You're Rod, Rod. Frank. How you doing, Frank? Hey, Frank. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you. So Danielle said something about um, your father wanting to downsize a little bit, but he wasn't ready to like sell everything. Right, he, he's 83 and he okay. still has a passion for it, but. Is he still buying? If we let him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had some heart to heart talks with dad and I said, dad, my kids are wondering what they're gonna do with my stuff. <laughs> Not even to mention, what are we gonna do with all your stuff? Frank. Hey, I'm Mike, very nice to meet you. Good to we know you We appreciate you having us. So yeah. these guys were saying that you got your buddies still coming out and hanging out down here. Oh yeah. they. That, that's what I like about this. They can see when I'm here. Yeah. And, oh, there you and go. they'll stop in, and, and that's when we have our bull sessions, you know? Oh, yeah. Grab yeah. Bull session. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. So are these guys you went to high school with and stuff? Oh, yeah. No yeah. kidding. Yeah, that's cool. they're still here in town. Raised my family in the antique car hobby or whatever you want to call it, and they've grown up from riding in the rumble seat to driving their own cars. My dad was a builder here in Brady, and I grew up working off of his trucks and we supplied gravel for this building when i was a kid and i didn't do a whole oh lot when of they stuff, were pouring but... the floors in here oh yeah, yeah. no right. kidding ken remembers when this building was being built which is pretty cool because now it houses his collection i've amused myself now for 30 years with walking people through this and explaining now this is a really cool motor meter that's an early model a what I like about this is most of them it, you have to unscrew. Yeah, this one you would screw a flip on, top. but look at that. You can just open it right up to fill it. Do you know what that little round hole is in this the front of that? In the back here? Yeah. When it's on the car mm -hmm. at night and you're at the steering wheel, if you look through that hole into your headlight pattern out there on the ground, okay. you can see if that red temperature but, thing's coming oh, up. Oh, so you can see the temperature at night. Well, I got to ask. Is this something you would sell? I, I, I'm gonna say yes. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah. Um, 300? You talked me into it. All right, you got a deal. <laughs> and I'm very much interested in passing this stuff on to somebody that knows what they're, what they're doing. The beauty of raising your kids in a small town is that they get to have the same experiences that you had. Going to the same school, cruising up and down Main Street, knowing a lot of the same people. The ripple effect of Ken's life really resonates with his boys. Hey, this was Appreciate a fun day. You. None of us know how long we're gonna live, and that doesn't make a bit of difference in the world, except I'm not ready to go yet, because I got a lot to do. Take care, oh, guys. Hello, guys. <laughs> It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.